Okay then, that's a, that's a way to start. Hello there, Travels and Adventures. You're probably asking yourselves, why are you in hell? And the question, and the answer to that one is, why aren't we all? Wait, no, that's not a, wait, no, that's a bad intro. Wait, hold on. <laughs> it's bad, <laughs> real bad implications in there. So the reason we're here is because we're going to open up a bunch of cool new chests using our brand stack new, uh, I felt dipped in lava, using our brand new shadow key that we acquired inside the dungeon. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully not perish too badly in here. Oh look, there's a chest. Ooh, slice of hell cake. And I have a little, little imp companion following me. Look at that. Look at that. Neat. But uh, I'm gonna stick with my royal delight. If this demon doesn't kill me. All right, what else is in here? Uh, teleportation potions. There's a real fun. Treasure magnets. Those are handy for the future. Not now, but for the future. Oh, I died. I'll quick stack everything before I head back. So this episode's gonna be, be uh, a pretty short one. I'm I'm just planning on doing hell-related things right now, and not really go much farther than that. I died again. I forgot to summon my imps. Okay, back again. This time I can get my coins. Hopefully deposit them before I get immediately killed again. There we go. Four gold coins into the pee bank. All right, let's uh, proceed onwards with our little tiny HP pool. Nothing too useful down here except for a cool looking painting. That is definitely not a statue. Okay, well, I just accidentally flooded this house with lava, so I can't go down there and investigate what's going on. I died anyway, doesn't matter. Death counter's gonna be high on this one. Alright, let's go to the right instead. Oh, look, immediately there's a... Oh, that's... Those are gonna blow up. And that's... Yeah, that's lava. That's lava. Dang it, I died again, so I can't... I can't even see what happened to that chest. I don't even know if it's reachable anymore. Okay, back again. Okay, let's see. Can I actually reach this? Maybe if I was just one block lower, the answer is no. Let me see if I can hammer this. Got a bone serpent here trying to stab boozle me, which it did, and it disappeared out of nowhere. That chest is so close. Why can't why can't I get in? I just want the chest. Come on, I'm so close. I'm so close to the chest. Why won't it let me open it? Okay, I opened it. Can I reach what's inside without dying? No, I don't. I don't think so. I have some bombs on me. Let me see if I can lower the, the lava level here. Oh, I lowered the lava level. Okay, maybe now I can finally reach it. And battle potion and a dark... I'll take the battle potion. And I'll also take a nice slice of death. All right, let's proceed onwards. I uh, picked up that chest over there. That was a nice ghost painting. I'll take that. Some gold in some of these pots. I'll also take that. Oh, some nice eyeball statues. Those will come in handy later for building. Okay, now to get out of here without immediately burning to death. That was a somewhat of a success, but uh, I'm probably going to die soon, so I'm going to deposit my one gold coin. Alright, onwards. Oh, there's just one right there immediately. Okay. Flower of magic. That's what I was looking for. Flower of fire. My bad, sorry. <laughs> some meteorite, magic power potions, and some other things. Probably gonna die soon from a simple hell bat. Uh, I'm gonna teleport home before I lose this these gold coins. So I can actually immediately replace my aqua scepter with this flower of fire. The treasure I will keep on my person in case I ever need to use it, but I will not actually equip it. So then that way I can easily swap it out with something else in case I do need to equip it. And now to, okay, honestly, I, I, I found really everything that needs to be found in there. I don't think I need to find anything else. I mean, the Flower of Fire is pretty nice. In fact, I'll reforge it right now with all that money that I got from down there. Mythical, that looks pretty good. And uh, now for the suckiest part of them all, building a hell bridge. This, in my opinion, is definitely not enough, but it should be enough to get started. Man, I definitely need to take care of the spider situation and also see if I can maybe set up a town down here so I can fast travel down here. Alright, so how and where do I want to make this thing? Jeez, why does the hell that hurt so much? And I perished. I need a rope. Alright, I think 80 should do. Okay, rope has been set up. Uh, I want to start my bridge right here. So now I can remove all of this, so now I can keep it. This video might end up being incredibly short, actually. 
if I'm just gonna cut out like a lot of the things happening. Speaking of a lot of things happening, a lot of it will just be me dying. Oh, that's an obsidian rose. Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly take that. All right, here we go. Like a nice long platform. Would help if I'm, you know, just not being bothered by a lot of enemies. That would, that would really help. And I perished. I'm gonna go ahead and remove these walls while I'm going down, so that way I don't have to keep rubbing into spider webs. Yeah, that should be good for now. On to the next one. All right, let's start deleting these walls and these. Okay, that's that. On to the next. Okay, this one's this one's pretty small, but you know, still gotta get rid of it. There we go. And that's the last one. Now let's continue where we left off. Just keep building. Just keep building. I accidentally took a dip there. So the reason I'm building it out of stone, aside from it being the most easily acquirable material, is it's actually fireproof. Or should I say lava proof? See, when you kill one of the red slimes, they actually drop a block of lava. And that can just easily burn through your bridge, so it's... If you have stone, it's resistant to that, so it'd be pretty cool. And I perished. I died again. Ah, oh, great, now there's three of them. There I go again. Oh, come on, I just got here. Yep. Seems about right. And I perished. Oh, come on. I can't continue bridge building, can I? Okay, fine. I'll just build to the right then. Here come the bats. One touch and I perish. This is most definitely going to be the shortest episode yet. And I forgot to summon my imps. Aside from hellbats, demons are probably the most annoying ones. And I jumped into it and just exploded. That bridge may look long, but it's not long enough. At least I deposited my coins before dying. Dead again. I still have so much platform left. Hellbat banner, yay. Too bad I need to be close to it. There's another. It tapped me. Oh, come on. I'm just trying to build here. Why is this so difficult? Some flat open air just to be able to construct on. With the occasional hellbat interruption. And demon. Great. I picked up some things inside that chest before I died. I think I should start building the other way again. Let's see, what did I get inside that chest? Ornate Shadow Key. Ooh, a pet shadow mimic. A demon, demonic hell card. That actually looks sick. I'll take that. I'll equip that. Oh, look at him. He's tiny. What if he moves? Oh, that's cute. I do like the gelatinous pet. Little tiny slime king boy. But I might just have to go with this chest for a while. Got my enemies here. Dang it. I accidentally touched a hellstone. Dead again. Alright, come on, just, just a few more, just 150. Can I build 150? Okay, only 100 more to go. Okay, just come on. Okay, now to find some way to dig through this while trying to avoid a giant bone serpent. But it's dead now, so it's fine. Oh, also, it seems a uh, hellbat dropped a uh, magma stone. Will I use that? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, but I perished. There's only 11 stone platforms left. How long is it? It's good length. It it, it could most definitely be much larger, though. It, it stops around here because that's where I died. Yeah, see? It could definitely be larger, though. It's not, like, over 2,000 blocks. Which it, it would help if it was. But I guess I'll leave that there for now. At least I've, I've constructed a good bit to help along in that. Got ourselves a new pet as well. So, this is going to be a real short one. Apologies. But hey, you got no excuse. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Feel free to comment, I guess. Maybe, I don't know. You can do whatever you want. Oh, hey, bunny. That was a bunny. You know, but I got thinking. I, I want to make this a tiny bit longer. And there's still a bunch of things that I want to do. So, how about we build ourselves a new little mini town, hey? I, th I think most of the episode will literally just be time lapse.
I think I have an idea, but it will require basically all my stone. I should also stock up on some ammo before I go off and build, because apparently I spent a lot down in the underworld. So I want to create a new city, and I want to create it near here, so that in that way I can come down to the underworld much quicker without having to worry about anything. Shoot, I overshot. I'd say around here would be a good spot. Now just, just to find out where there's lava to the left, but there's lava to the right. However, the right isn't as infected with lava as the left. I think let's do it off to the, the right. Oh, I forgot one thing that would greatly enhance the viewing pleasure of this. I need a few shine potions so you guys can see. All right, now to head on back down. All right, now you guys will be able to see and let us commence the digging. Okay then. Okay, so I, I've I've hollowed out that area over there pretty decently well, if I do say so myself. All I need now is just to uh, start building in there. Also, I need to clear out my inventory. I'm keep having so much inventory issues. All down there, I got a bag of potato chips. It's pretty cool. Bet you can't just eat one. Got a ruthless chain knife. This dropped from a bat. Uh, yeah, it's basically just just pointy. Don't really need it because of how it does. It does okay damage but nothing compared to what i have now got a bunch of silt we're gonna go ahead and just convert that over real quick well i say real quick but in reality it takes a good minute actually i'm gonna need a lot of ed for ed one a lot of lead 
or a lot of the decor that I want to make. Not to mention, it would be handy to have my own heavy duty workbench down there. As well as a sawmill. Alright, time to head back down.
You know what? I think that's a per and there's a gold bunny there that I cannot. Oh, there's mmm. I can't catch those. Cause I'm dead, and it's too late. No. All right, let's go get a tour of the place, shall we? So I'm not gonna lie. When making the place, I really wasn't sure what it quite to go for. I actually, the build's not even done. I still gotta add the lava, and I still gotta make some cool entrance way over here. But I, I really didn't know what I wanted to go for. So. I just kind of went for like a combination of a mine, like some sort of a forge society, some sort of like tinkerers, you know what I'm saying? So I, I don't really know if I nailed that aesthetic down. There's definitely quite a good bit of things that I could have done. Um, but for now, I think I'm going to call this one done just for the simplicity of I don't want to keep working on it. I, I do need just lava and I need to make the entrance and then it is officially completed. I gotta say though, I am a fan of how this came out. It, it looks pretty neat. All right, now to uh, go get that lava and finish up that entrance. You know what? I I could just finish that some other day. There's there's an infinite lava bucket in the game that would just make things so much easier. I I don't want to sit here and be clicking for like another hour. So for now, that is that. And this right here is the new entrance way. It looks janky and jaggy, but I honestly don't know what to do. So uh, there we go. I now have a fast travel method to be able to get down to the underworld much quicker. Huh. Well, that's, uh, that's familiar. Well, I'm gonna leave this one off here. Because, man, I, I am tired. I've been building for quite a bit. <laughs> uh, really wish I would've been able to finish the lava down there, but jeez, that is, that is just too much. I need the infinite lava bucket for that. I'm not, I'm not gonna stand there and keep clicking. I'm too tired for that. So for now, we've created a brand new town. For some NPCs to live in so they can be happy and whatnot. But the important thing is this is much closer to hell. So we can now just basically just fast travel here. Just hop on down and then fall. Which honestly I don't know how much that how much time that would save. But hey, at least it's a thing. So that's pretty cool. Uh this is totally gonna become in danger later. <laughs> I'm gonna have to find some way to prevent that if possible. Oh, hey, some of that magma grass is spreading to the bricks. I didn't know that was possible. That's cool. So, built ourselves a hell bridge and also a area to get to hell much faster. So that's pretty sweet. Got many more builds to come because there's a lot of prep that's got to be done. Next up, I think I'm probably going to get to work on a graveyard. I don't know. Maybe it is that time of the year for some spooky season. But I'm going to call this one here. Like and subscribe if you feel like it. Uh, hit that notification bell if you do decide to subscribe so you can know when a new video comes out. But for now, have a good day or night, depending on where you are. Stay toasty and safe travels, my friend. Peace.